Hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be downloading and installing XAMPP onto our machine. Now the reason why we need XAMPP with working with PHP is because if you don't have an online server to update the, to upload the files to then you're going to need something on your local host to run the files. As I said PHP is a server side scripting language so we need a server and XAMPP runs as a server on your local host. So we're going to go to Google and we're just going to type in XAMPP and the first link is Apache Friends XAMPP. So let's click that. Then it's going to display a list of your current operating systems or the current operating systems XAMPP is supported on. So as I'm on Windows, I'm going to click XAMPP for Windows. And under the download section, just click the first link which says XAMPP. Then you can see that the current version is Windows 1.8.1. And we're going to click the installer. Then it's going to navigate you to SourceForge where it will automatically start the XAMPP installer after 5 or so seconds. So I'm going to pause this video here and wait for the installer to finish. Okay, so the installer's finished downloading and I put it onto my desktop. So we're just going to double click this and we're going to click run. Then we're just going to select our language, which me is English. And after this, we just go through the steps that it says. We're going to install it into the C drive destination as recommended by XAMPP. And then you can see that this loading bar will take quite a while and I'll just pause it for the next part. Okay so I paused and you'll see that a command prompt pops up like now. There you go. Um, just ignore that. That has nothing to do and it's nothing bad. And once you've done just click finish and it asks you if you want to open the control panel. So let's open the control panel. So once we open the control panel you'll get greeted with this display. And the first thing we need to do of course is we need to start the Apache and MySQL service. Once this is done, we can then go to your default web browser, whatever it is, uh, mine's Google Chrome, and we can open that up, and we can just navigate to localhost. No HTTP, no www. Just type in localhost into the address bar. Then you're greeted with this display, and again, you select your language. After this, we want to go to the security tab, and we're going to set a password for MySQL, as we're going to be working with MySQL. So we just select changing passwords and we just put the new password in to password or whatever you want but I'm going to use password as I'm going to be using it throughout the next couple of tutorials and then you just click password changing. After that you'll get a success message that the root password has successfully been changed for MySQL and you need to restart MySQL to load these changes. Now another thing that you might want to know about the Apache or XAMPP service sorry, um, is that where your documents will be saved and accessed. So if we go to your main drive and we go to computer local disk C, you can see that you have a folder named XAMPP and then within that htdocs. Now all of these files we don't need anymore, that's just the setup files. So you can go ahead and delete them within htdocs. Now if we create a new folder and we're going to call it data types as that's going to be part one of learning PHP, then we'll be able to see by navigating to localhost that that data types folder will come up in the directory. So if we go over to Google Chrome now and just type in localhost into our address bar, you can see as I said data types is the directory there. So once we click that if we have for example an index.php file that will be displayed there as a normal web page. So it's acting as a server on your desktop and it's brilliant. So stay tuned for part one. As I said, we're going to be going over data types in PHP. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on installing XAMPP. If you've already installed XAMPP, then I hope you haven't wasted too much of your time um, and skip to part one. So see you later. Thank you. Don't forget to support my videos by giving it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.